welcome back to Miss Smith's art class. I have a very special guest today. This is Henry. Hi guys. Hi. Now Henry just had a birthday last week. How old are you Henry? Um, oh yeah, nine. I'm nine. <laughs> He's already forgetting. <laughs> and he got what? A new mountain bike and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. He's come to my class before and helped me out. And one of his favorite lessons is... Origami. Origami. What is origami? Hmm, let's start with where it's from. The name origami, it sounds different, right? Can you tell like what country that might be from? What's your guess, Henry? Japan. awesome Japan <laughs> so yes it is an ancient art from Japan and then it spread to China and then all over the world so we love doing origami all the time yeah <laughs> it's kind of addictive warning you can't stop um, so origami is the ancient art of paper folding you are taking an ordinary piece of paper that is flat two-dimensional and you're going to fold it into shapes to make it into a 3D sculpture. We're going to start today with an easy origami. We're going to show you how to make a pyramid. A pyramid. Definitely one of the easy ones. Mm -hmm. um, what are some other origami shapes you like making, Henry? Uh, I like making the ninja star in the box. Yes. So we'll probably show you those later this year but we'll start out with the pyramid and what shape paper should you always start origami with square square and if you don't know how to make a square piece of paper you can check out my youtube channel the zentangles Lessons has uh, the first one has instructions on how to turn a regular rectangular piece of paper into a perfect square. So always start with a square. What else do you need, Henry? Nothing. So. <laughs> paper? Yeah. Um, we'll say beware of paper cuts. Yeah. That could be a hazard of origami. Um, but seriously, you can use any size square. You could use like what's the smallest size you can think of? Like part of a post-it note. Yes, so you could like <laughs> cut a post-it note and even smaller. Or you could like, use like the world's biggest piece of paper um, and make a humongo pyramid. Like you could actually get inside of it. Whoa! Mm -hmm. This is such a cool lesson because we'll show you how to make the basic pyramid, but then there's like a million ways that you can use the pyramid to get creative and make other shapes. It's super fun. So who's ready to get started with origami? Me! Me! Woohoo! Yay, origami! <laughs> Just kidding, have fun with this. Square piece of paper, what's the first step for the pyramid, Henry? Fold it in half. But which way? Uh, hot dog. <laughs> me hungry is that what's for dinner okay so it's a square it doesn't really matter right you can right I mean, because it's a square it's the same on all four sides so we're gonna do side to side mm -hmm. okay I like to use the table as my yep thing I'm a jig to prop on that's the technical term thing I'm a jig thing the watch them all right so we just did a fold in the hat and a fold in the hat <laughs> Woo! all right now if you open it up look Two halves. Look. Uh, Once upon a time, there was a piece of paper. The end. Bam. Hey, and I'd also like to talk about math, because Henry loves math. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What do you, uh, okay, two halves equal a whole fractions. He's <laughs> super far ahead. Okay, so what do you call a line that is up and down? This is a tough one. We did not uh, practice this. <laughs> it starts with a V. Vertical. <gasps> yes, so proud. Ding, ding, hey, look. Okay. So a vertical line goes up and down. What do you call a line that goes side to side? Horizontal. What am I gonna teach this kid? He's just too smart. Okay, so we're gonna fold a horizontal, like we're gonna fold it horizontally afterwards. So we just did vertical line. Now we fold the opposite way, right? Right. No fluffy folds. No nope. really crease it. Hard. Show that paper who's uh. Now, how many sections do we have? Four. Let's count, boys and girls. Ready? One, two, two three, four. four. Now, let's count in Espanol. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Man, that's awesome. Bueno. So four fourths. What is four fourths equal? A whole. So we've got horizontal or vertical. What is the next step, Sir Henry? Uh, diagonal. What's the difference here? We already did side to side. What are you folding this time? Like this. Corner to corner. Hey, it looks hey, like a bow. Huh. See, that might be another project. Mm -hmm. So we're going corner to corner. Correct them under. Correct them under. Corner to corner. My paper's a little stubborn. Yeah. Same. Our teacher problems. Mm -hmm. So maybe a thinner paper might be a better uh, material to use if you're a beginner. I just made a triangle, triangle, or a sailboat, sail, or a um, a pop hat, <laughs> or a bandit. Hey, wear your mask. It's 2020. Mm -hmm. We live together, so it's yeah. like we're not socially distant. Anyway, so we have one triangle now that we just made. Is that enough? Nope. What's next, Henry? Another, or I mean, another diagonal. Another? Fold. Wait, but I just did it. So yeah, but I... you have to do two, so it's, so it's eight, so it's equal. But what are, ish? So, oh, the opposite corners. this lesson many right. times oh. at Davenport A Plus, whoop whoop, Bobcat Nation, in the house represent. Um, and kids tend to have trouble with that step because they're like, well, I've already done the diagonal, but you have to do it twice. So yep. then you've got this. It's kind of hard to see. How many sections? Oh, yours is so nice and crisp. Good crisp. <laughs>
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. No, 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 más, no, más. Okay. So we call that. We have a little nickname for this fold because this it reminds us of pizza. Because it comes it usually comes in eight pieces. Yeah. So. And um, we like to eat pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pizza's and good. so step number one is the pizza fold. <laughs> Don't eat the paper. <laughs> paper cuts. Yeah. Pizza, pizza, daddy oh. What's next? What's next, Henry? The envelope fold. The envelope. You got mail. So you want to make sure each time you fold that it's lined up. Let me show them up close here. See that for, that corner came in and it lined up directly with the folds that are already there. So the next time I fold, oh yeah, you don't want to leave a gap and you don't want to overlap. Hey, that rhymed. I like to rhyme all the time. And now it looks like an envelope. Sort Did of. you get a letter in the mail? <laughs> Open it up. Who's it from, Henry? It's from Santa. <gasps> you must have been a good boy this year. <laughs> what are you asking for this year from Santa? You just had a birthday, uh, so it's probably hard to... Maybe $1,200 million. Good answer. And good luck with that. <laughs> Tell him to leave it a check in my name. <laughs> Okay, wait, you're way ahead of me. Mm -hmm. So I have two two sides in, and then one more, and then here's my envelope. Now, do you see why it's called the envelope? Step number one was called the... Pizza! Pizza! Step number two is the envelope. envelope. All right. Next, you're going to pull out one, one. tab. Point to you, like that. like you're opening it up it's right directly to you so we just Hi. pulled out that one tab and opened it up what could we call this the mouthful yeah sure. meow, meow. cool mm -hmm. um okay so we've got that was a really easy step right yeah. just remove just, one of yeah. the ones we've already cool. done and then next you have an option right like you could either fold that, that way, way or that which way do you like to go side okay so what if you fold that and you don't hold these down? They kind of flop them out. out. Yeah. So, do you ever like hold that down? Like make sure that's sticking yeah. down while you're folding? Mm -hmm. I hope it's easier for them to see. Mm -hmm. So we're just folding one side down. Now the Like that. And I don't know what we call that step. We'll have to come up with something. Yeah. 
really cool. Maybe our viewers could submit. Yeah, put comment. Put, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Make sure y'all smash that like button too and subscribe. Henry has his own YouTube channel too. What's it called? It's called Henry Fryer. Yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. Dabney Smith, Henry Fryer. Okay. Anyway, so this is, um, that's a pretty, pretty tough step. And of course, it takes practice, just like getting me on. So you yeah. could always practice. All right, what's next, Henry? The Housefold. Yeah, I like that name, The Housefold. And then, see if I don't hold on the left, the whole thing wants to come up. Yeah, like that. So, so we're wanting to fold on this. We're wanting to like fold on this. Piece. Yeah. And it's just the top layer that comes across, right? So that's flat. And then I'm just pulling the top layer up. Do you see how that bottom layer stayed down? Just the top layer comes up and across. And then it should look like this. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> We're not silly. We're no. total professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. All right, so that was just a, we went, okay, envelope, open, corner, down, and then top layer folds over. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. It's already starting to turn. Oh, just one more step. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. What's the last step, Henry? Uh, fold it in. <gasps> just like just that. that. That last tab just it locks in. it in. Nice and dark. And then you just kind of. And then you have a pyramid. Pyramids are awesome. Phew. Natural. Traditional origami uses no tape, but no glue, no staples, no adhesives, but mm. we're not that traditional yeah. around here, so you could certainly stop here. But we've learned that it actually helps if you kind of secure these, especially if you're going to turn this into another project. So there's a lot of adhesives in the world. Henry, what do you have? A stapler. A <laughs> it's just a stapler. It doesn't take much to get this one excited. Okay, so let me guess. You're going to use the stapler. Mm -hmm. um, please don't staple your fingers. I'll try not to. Yeah, that would hurt. Yeah. That would be pretty bad for our video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, you could use tape. Tape, because that's... Uh huh. You could use, hey Henry, could you please pass me the glue? We have different kinds of glue. This one? This is a glue gun, which we'll talk about in a yes. minute. And then there's another kind of glue over there, that big old box. Yeah. Yay! He was dying to say ye. <laughs> <laughs> he watches a lot of YouTube. Okay. This glue is awesome because it doesn't hurt you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it takes longer to dry. Mm -hmm. Now, Henry, let's talk to our viewers about glue gun safety, because this is the kind of adhesive I would like to use. What are some hazards of a hot glue gun? It's hot and it hurts very badly. Have you ever had a hot glue gun burn? 
Thousands of times. Thousands. Um, did you ever say, I'm never using this ever again, I hate you, hot glue gun? Yes, yeah. I did. That's a direct quote. But, I, yeah, I already used <laughs> it. Then kind of got over so. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so kids, you can burn yourself. I, we don't want you to, though. No. We really mm -hmm. don't want you to. So, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, it needs to be with an adult, a parent, permission, and please be careful. <laughs> But we're professionals, as you yeah, can tell. So um, I'm going to glue, and Henry's going to staple. So to glue, I don't think you'll have to do this. You don't have to remove any, do you? Nope. I'm just going to put a little dab, ready? <laughs> a little dab. dab of glue here, just a little spot. And then I'm going to glue that flap down. You know what? I may even lift this flap up, just do a little bit of glue there. And then maybe a little bit here. Henry, could you pass me a new glue stick, please? Mine's running low. Yeah. It's very handy having an assistant. Oh, well, that worked. It's okay. He just dropped some glue. Mm -hmm. But you know what? These things happen. At least you didn't burn yourself. Yeah, because that would hurt. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue on these two. Bada bing, bada boom. All secure. Wait, did you already do your stapling? Yeah. But can you can you show me? How did you do it? Uh, well, so it's like pretty easy. Yeah, you just stick it up there, and then click, and click, click, like this. Nice. Okay, so that was like super e easy, easy, and you didn't hurt yourself. Yay nope. for not hurting ourselves! We're winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! Now that our pyramid is made, we can. Yay! A million things you can do with these pyramids. Let me show you some ideas. You can color your pyramid. Red is color. I did that one. Um, one little trick when you're coloring a three-dimensional shape is that it's actually hard to color on something that's not flat. So you can fold one side in to get a flat triangle and then color on that one. Flip it over, color on that one, flip it over. And that way, ooh, that's a cool shape too. See, there's so many ways you can apply this pyramid to different things. Um, other things in the world that are pyramids, well, you've got the Egyptian pyramids. Wouldn't that be kind of cool if you had like an assignment to make a diorama of the pyramids and you actually made the pyramids out of origami? That would be cool. What about the food pyramids? Everybody loves to eat healthy, right? You need some milk. Yeah, you need milk. You need what? <laughs> vegetables, not uh, Takis all day. But why not? <laughs> but why? Not Oreo. There's no uh, food pyramid for Oreos. But um, this, is, I put the direct, uh, what should I call it? Yeah. Percentages for what you're supposed to eat. So green is vegetables. Milk, blah blah blah. So you could make a food pyramid, you could make an Egyptian pyramid, all kinds of stuff. Stuff. Hey, hey, it's a mask. Or you could make your own mask. It may not be certified. CDC certified, um, but it is cool. So <laughs> safety is cool. Peekaboo, Henry. What? what are you going to make with your pyramids today? I'm going to make a ball. Ooh. How many pyramids magic. do you need? Art is magic. Eight. Eight.
so Henry, where are your eight pyramids? Okay, so you're well, going to start... Well, four of them are right here. So. Okay, so you've already glued four pyramids together. Yeah. Well, show them that again. That is beautiful. Look, he glued four pyramids together. Ooh, pretty colors. Why didn't you pick blues and greens? I don't know. You just love those colors? Mm -hmm. They spoke to your soul. Yeah, because I like nature and I want to be in the army when I grow up. So. Sergeant Art, nature. Okay, so you glued four pyramids together. Can you show them actually how you did that? Are you going to use a staple? Stapler, or are you gonna use that? Okay. Uh, where'd they go? Um, I think they're. Yep, there's some there. Are there some over there? No, we're good. Okay. Live television, folks. <laughs> All right, Henry. So, are you gonna do the same pattern, like the dark green next to the light green? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty. So he's organizing the glue them gun now, and then he's got the glue gun ready with a fresh stick. So you put it on one side first, right? Mm -hmm. You have to move fairly quickly because hot glue dries fast, right? So you're putting little dotsies. Dabs. Little dots. <laughs> little dabs. Okay. okay. And then you line it up. There. You put them together. And you just kind of squeeze it together so it stays. Mm -hmm. And then you have two. Two. Where okay. did the other one go? Over there. Okay. And you've got, so then the dark green. Is so it's across from that, right? Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So he's trying to get these two sides to match. Very cool. And again, you could do this with any size paper. Yep. What if you made really tiny ones and you uh, put like a little hook on them that could be earrings? Or you could make Christmas colored ones and they could be ornaments for a Christmas tree. Ooh, you, you could even put tree? different like what if you had photos of your family inside? Sweet. Why buy a present when you can make it? Yeah, yeah, for free, because we're cheap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we know we're creative, that's what it is. Yep. Awesome. Is this your final one before you do the tea? You want me to hold that? Teamwork. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll put that right here. Two, one right there. Oh, you burned me. <laughs> I did? No. Oops. <laughs> I'm so mature. Okay, that one goes there, right? Ooh. Did you already do that side too? So now you have two kind of, what, flat sit. Oh, it's beautiful. Now I have to eat it together. Eat it together. Okay, could you, there's these two, or they don't want to stick. Could you put a little glue there? Bro? Yes. What that? Just what that. Just a smidgen. Thank it's you. Pain, very pain, very pain. good. Don't be mean to us, Blue. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Oh, so. Got together. Ow. Hot. It's very hot. Hot glue is hot. Newsflash. All right. So you've got that one and, and this one. one. And then what are you going to do? Blue what them question, up. What's the pattern? Is it going to go green on green, blue on blue? Or are you going to like tilt it? What's I the plan? I want to do green on green, blue on blue. And, you know. Well, you're the artist. So you get to choose, green. right? You do whatever you want. And this is a good lesson for the kids at home that they can make these choices as well. Mm -hmm. He's probably having to work fairly quickly with that glue, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, this is crunch time. It's all coming together. So you want dark green on dark green? Yeah. Like that. Do you work? And then together. we just need it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now we have it all. Can you? Oh, you can toss it. Oops. We're just pretending right now. Pretending to juggle. Oh, oh cool. cool. I was trying well, to make, you can make a bunch of them. Okay, let's see if we can. I'll throw it to you. Like. <laughs> I'm so. No children were harmed in the making of this YouTube video. Okay. Um. This is a very cool Fun. shape. You can hang it in your room, like above your bed. So you can have it on your table just to play with. It's sci-fi, it's geometric, it's handmade, it's creative. It's, and it's yeetful. It's yeetful. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but. Yeah. So that's just another option of something you can make. Yep. Yeah. All right, will you
Hit that button. Bye.